Let's talk about the basic differences between direct current and alternating current. Direction of current does not change in the circuit in case of direct current. And alternating current, direction of current keeps on changing in the circuit. Second, magnitude of current remains same in case of direct current, but the magnitude of current keeps on changing in case of alternating current. Cells and batteries are the sources of DC. It means we'll get DC from cells and batteries. But generator and dynamo are the sources of AC. We get AC from generator and dynamo. Another difference, voltage of DC cannot be changed by transformer. It's very important. Voltage of AC can be changed by transformer. A voltage of 11,000 volt is generated in electric power plant and it is increased to very huge value and then it is transmitted to very long distance. Later, it is dropped down to 33 kilovolt, 11,000 volt and 400 volt. And lastly, when it reaches to the household circuit, then it is dropped down to 220 volt. This way, voltage of alternating current can be increased or decreased according to the requirement. But Transformer doesn't work with direct current. It cannot change the voltage of direct current. Now next, inverter can be used to change DC into AC. The inverter which we use at home, actually it converts direct current into alternating current. And we know that battery is the source of direct current and is converted to alternating current by inverter. I am showing it with the diagram also. It converts electrical energy stored in battery into the alternating current and battery supplies DC and the same is converted into AC by inverter. Uh, on the other side, rectifier can be used to change AC into DC. The household circuit is supplied with 220 volt. We can store it in the battery by using rectifier because rectifier converts AC into DC and is stored in the battery. Later, it can be converted into AC by using inverter to each and every appliance of a household circuit. And rectifier appears like this. Okay, now next. It is not useful for long distance transmission. Direct current cannot be transmitted to very long distance because during transmission, lot of electrical energy will be wasted. On the other side, it is useful for long distance transmission from power plant to different cities also. Okay, next, it is used in the electronic devices having short distance. I mean to say the electric circuit which are used in electronic devices has very short distance for the flow of current. Okay, next, it is widely used in domestic circuit and industries. We know this alternating current of 220 volt is used in domestic circuit, but alternating current of more than 220 volt is used in industries. Next, it has low voltage, hence no risk of getting electric shock. We do not get electric shock from direct current because it is of low voltage. But on the other side, it has high voltage. So there is a chance of getting electric shock by this high voltage AC. Okay, we'll meet in another class. Thank you.